think when it gets to this level, you really don't have the time to let anything stand in your way. You need to be willing to embrace progression and step outside of your comfort zone, otherwise you're just left standing. We're up against the best engineering minds of the future. Needless to say, it's competitive, but I love it. It's the first chance we get as engineers to show what we're really worth. We've all put so much into the car, there's no way we can't win. But, succeed or fail, we've all learnt so much along the way. Formula Student is all about determination, passion and the willingness to succeed. Motorsport isn't a 9 to 5 job and a lot of students have found that out the hard way this year. We work around the clock tirelessly to produce the best the UK has to offer. We always drive to lower the CFG, improve the drivability, reliability and fuel economy. You can spend all year building a car, but if it's not reliable, you won't finish. We're aiming to be the uh, first UK team to win Formula Student outright, um, so hopefully that means success in all of the static events, um, as well as the dynamic events, um, and just to prevail through uh, above everyone else. This year we've used a lot of data-driven decisions to design and develop our car. We have the latest use of a Formula One style simulator, this has proven massive benefit to the university and it's something we want to exploit before we get to the competition. Success in motorsport all depends on teamwork. We all work so well together. The people I've been working with have just made this project so much more enjoyable. You can't win it yourself. You need a good team around you and it's a good team that will win the competition outright. Seeing my part in my hands, in front of me, looking at results, uh, doing a lot of analysis, and just to have that tangible, tangible part in my hand, it's been really rewarding.